Hello. No matter how thinly you sew your beetroot, there will always be a requirement to thin them again. How can that be? Well apparently, beetroot seeds aren't in fact beetroot seeds at all. They're clusters of beetroot seeds, no less. We're looking at what would appear to be four beetroot seeds there, but there could be anything from six, eight, ten, because each of those so-called seeds is a cluster of seeds and can produce one, two, three beetroot, maybe even more, I don't know. Um, so we're going to do a little experiment. We love our experiments at homegrown veg. We'll take a seed from the packet and we'll just pop that there. There's our seed. We're just going to sow one seed, one beetroot seed on this damp tissue, on this wet tissue, and which is going to be even wetter now. Okay. And we're just going to let that germinate on the windowsill. Okay. Now, you would expect to get one beetroot from that, but if you get two, or if you get three, then you know that it's a cluster. And you know that when you plant that in the ground, there are going to be three beetroot coming from it, or two beetroot coming from it, and you will probably need to pull two of them out to leave the last one in. Anyway, let's not uh, let's not preempt the results. Let's just let this uh, cluster of beetroot seeds germinate. So we'll just pop this in this plastic bag. Um, we'll put it on the windowsill, and let's see what we get from that one. Uh, beetroot seed or cluster of beetroot seeds. Let's just see what uh, what it produces. Okay, that's it. The last time I looked in this box was about a week ago. That's when I took the photo that you've just looked at. And I think that showed you that the beetroot seed cluster had actually started to germinate and it looked as though we might be getting two beetroot from that cluster. Um, so we're a week further on now and we'll take another look in here and see if there's been any more developments in this box. Okay. I think you should be able to see that. The two beetroot have separated completely from the cluster now. So we've got two beetroot. That's not to say that a bigger cluster, a bigger seed wouldn't give three or more beetroot. I just don't know. But that cluster produced two beetroot. Um, the seeds that we're using are boltardy, and there are lots of varieties of beetroot, and possibly bigger clusters. And this might be something that you might want to try. It only took me two weeks from start to finish, and that's all it would take you. If you've got some beetroot seeds, you want to have a go at this, just empty them out, pick the biggest, Pop it on a wet tissue in a box like this on a windowsill and in two weeks time you can leave me a comment telling me that your cluster has germinated and how many beetroot you got from it. That would be something good to do wouldn't it? It'll only take two weeks and you get a result. This, I think this is the quickest experiment we've done at homegrown veg to get to a conclusion and the conclusion is when you sow beetroot you're sowing clusters and you'll probably get more than one beetroot growing from the cluster and you will need to thin your beetroot. Okay, this is Homegrown Veg, signing out.